Hi everyone. Happy solstice. So I would like to remind you all a little bit what a solstice is. Remember that the word solstice means it's in Latin and it means the sun is still. It's not moving. To understand the solstice of what is a solstice or an equinox, we have to uh, remember that, of course, in the past, people didn't have social media, didn't have phones, didn't have the watches, the clocks that we have today. So if they wanted to know in which moment of the year they were, in which moment of the, of, of the day they were, they had to pay attention to where is the sun? Where is located the sun in the horizon? So maybe it's on the top of a hill, maybe the sunset is in a valley, maybe it's on the top of a tree or a stone or something. So they were following where the sun was to calculate which days are we in or what hours um, are we in. Because they pay attention to every movement of the sun to locate themselves in time, what people in the past saw was that the sun was moving every day, was coming out a little bit towards the right in the horizon, like walking towards the right or towards the left, hmm? according to the point of view where they were perceiving the sun from where they were living. What they notice in this movement towards one direction of the sun is that every day it's moving towards right, for example, and suddenly there is a moment when the sun is still and comes out in exactly in the same right spot for two, three days, and then comes back to moving backwards towards the left or the right, depending on where you are. In that moment when the sun stops moving in the horizon to a specific direction and comes out exactly in the same spot for a few days and then start moving backwards, so that moment when the sun is still, and which means comes out in the same position before coming backwards, that's what we call solstice. The sun is still. Of course, it's not the sun that moves to one direction or the other. It's actually the Earth moving towards one direction or the other direction as it moves around the sun. Okay, so it means that the Earth moved the farthest it can to this direction, and now it's time for it to come back to the other direction. Okay, so that is how we can perceive the solstice. Of course, that solstice and equinoxes then were this clock that everyone used, no matter where they were, to know where, when to sow, when to harvest, when to do the daily things that they were supposed to do, when to travel, and so on. Those things helped us know when was about to change the weather. So we could pay attention to how many days we needed to count before a season changed, okay? So today we can ask to Google, we can, we can check that in our phones and set an alarm, but in that time, you had to pay attention to what was the movement of the sun in the horizon. Since the very beginning of time of life, this means that we are kind of crucified in time and space in something called solstice and equinoxes. This is why it's so important for us a solstice and an equinox, because the subconscious is ruled by that movement of the sun, the moon, and the earth. Our inner life is controlled by all of that. So if we want to tune in with information that is in the subconscious and we want to become conscious about it, we have to do conscious actions to take conscious um, uh, ideas to set intentions in these days so our subconscious becomes conscious. Mm -hmm. So that's why even the tiniest change in our daily life, in our routines, the tiniest ceremony, the tiny action, whatever we can do to set an intention, to change an idea, uh, to, to take action into something different, to realize that today and 
a cycle ends and a new cycle begins, helps us to put awareness into something that is very deep in ourselves, which is the inner mind that is controlled by all this telluric and cosmic energy. Okay, so we are bounded by this uh, by this information all the time, and as we make it conscious and we take conscious actions these days, so we can start to line up with the real movements of this planet and this time. That's why since we have done the path of the I am in 2020, 2021, I set the intention for all of us to connect every solstice and equinox so we could bring consciousness, awareness in those four days that control our subconscious. So that's why we will do a tiny talk or uh, a meditation or some music or a planetary activation or an event, whatever we want to do in solstice and equinoxes so we can keep on going with bringing consciousness, awareness into all this information that usually lies in our subconscious. And of course, today, it's even more, much more um, important because we are making a delivery of crystals in five nodes of the planet. So remember that the that the task of the I am during the year of the I am, one of the things that, that, that we had to do was to connect the network of the planet from the inside, walking the path of the I am towards the outside hmm, to connect the planetary network. What we have done during our, uh, our path of the I am was to learn about the planetary consciousness through the network. Hmm. So we have gone through different days, different topics that represented the nodes of the being. So all these nodes were like vertices that connect with edges. And we start to connect the, the faces of geometry that creates shapes of geometry that we call the platonic solids. So that created the idea of what a network is. During the I am process the, the i am path what we have done was to go through different topics every day that represents a node in our inner grid in our inner network okay so what we have done was to build up all this geometrical shape to become aware of something that is our inner matrix is a is a structure that contains the being so in the same way, during the I am path, uh, we have been going through the chakras or points of power within our body, going through each one of them, uh, acknowledging each one of them. So the planet has also those dots, those sacred points, but there are places. They are places that we call nodes. So what we have done was to go through an inner planetary grid to become aware of it within and then being able to project it to the outer world in a planetary, the external planetary uh, network. So in the year 2017, what we have done with a group of people was to charge with energy the spheres, uh, uh, crystal spheres, in the Antarctic. So we went to Antarctica. And we charge all this information within these crystals because Antarctica represents the crown chakra of the planet. So all the pure information of the crown was downloaded into these crystals. So since 2017, what we have done was to keep these crystals in, a, in, a, in an altar so they would be delivered in the different nodes of the planet once we have done our own path within that we did with the I am in 2020 and 2021. What we are doing today is to deliver these crystals after we have done the activations in 2022 in Egypt. Once we have done that part of uh, activation, what we are doing today in an echo of 2022, which is 2024, is to deliver these crystals all around the planet in the main nodes of the world. So what we have done in 
at the end of 2022 was to deliver 12 crystals in the faces of the dodecahedron of the planet. So what we are doing in this year is to deliver these crystals in the triangular faces of the 20 faces of the icosahedron of the planet. Equinox, solstice, equinox and solstice of 2024, what we are doing is delivering these uh, crystals in the 20 phases, completing the 20 phases, doing five nodes every one of these solstices and equinoxes. What we have done is to choose randomly people from the network to deliver these crystals in these nodes. The idea was for not to me to do all this task going everywhere, not to me to be the center of all of this, but the network. That's why we choose different people to deliver the crystals and to do the task. So I would like to uh, to mention the nodes that have that are being activated today, and the names of the people that are delivering or have delivered or will deliver these crystals today. Nodes que ya lo entregaron porque ya están en el mañana. Eh, voy a ir por esos dos primero. So I will go for the first two nodes that have already delivered the crystals because for them is already tomorrow. The node of Samoa is actually in the middle of the sea, of the ocean, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, in between Kiribati and Samoa. So it's very complicated to send people there. So we decided to send them to Samoa, which is the closest part that was able. So in Samoa, the three people that are delivering the that deliver the crystals are Ina Tanner from New Zealand, Madonna Griffin from Australia, and Marilia Moreno from USA. So I thank these three people from the network, the three walkers that have delivered the crystals and dare to go there. So the node of Hokkaido, which is the North Island of Japan, the actual node is in the middle of the ocean in between Nemuro Peninsula and Minami Torishima Island. It's very difficult to go there. So the closest spot that you could possibly be around is the northern, the northeast part of Hokkaido. So that's where they are. Janine Besenbeck, Austria. Helen Fraser, Australia. And Alberto Bertaglia. Italy. So I thank these walkers that have traveled to deliver these crystals and to do this planetary task in the north of Japan. Thank you. The other note that was already delivered is Kashmir, Kashmir. And Kashmir is a region in Pakistan that is in kind of conflict with India, of who um owns it so it's in the himalayas it's a very mountain uh region very high and uh one of the walkers couldn't go because of a visa problem but uh there are two of them that did the task of delivering the crystals so i uh i thank uh those walkers that are in uh the feet of the mountain Nanga Parvat uh, in Kashmir to deliver these crystals. Oslem Bir from Turkey. Julian Mosquera from Arab Emirates. The other node that has been activated today is Lapland. And Lapland is a region, the node is a whole region that incorporates the peninsula of Murmansk in Russia, and of course, part of the north of Sweden, Finland, and Norway. So the three walkers are there in Norway right now, in North Cup, which is the northernmost point in Europe. Walkers are Bianca Rode from Germany, Anna Martre from France, Isabel Nordenso from Denmark. Gracias.
a estas tres caminantes por estar allí en el norte de Europa. So thank to these three walkers for being there in the north of Europe. The last one on being activated today, maybe it's been activated now, is the one in Bolivia, the Uyuni uh, salts. It incorporates part of Paraguay too, uh, which is Sierra de Leon, but Uyuni is the sacred spot that incorporates all the territory. So that's why they are there. So, so I thank the walkers that are there uh, delivering the crystals. Karen Contreras, Chile. Michelle Ramos, Brazil. Y Florencia Santancieri. Thank you to all the walkers that are delivering these crystals. The, the crystals that are being delivered are three spheres that has uh, the codes of the network inside. So the, the three represents the three nodes of each one of the triangular faces of the icosahedron. And one in the middle, which is the prism, um, that prism encodes the DNA, the shape of the DNA, so the light can be downloaded as a seed for it to spread in that territory. So what I described to the walkers is that what they would do in these places is like making acupuncture to the earth. What they are doing is like kind of putting a little bit, a little needle in one of the nerves of the planet. So um, in this acupuncture, for sure you have done acupuncture or any therapy that can help you in your daily life. And as you have seen, it doesn't change completely your life. It's something that improves the way in which you live daily. So it helps you to understand better, it helps you to move forward. But these kind of things are like daily things, like taking a shower, like eating, like taking care of your body, making a massage. So it's not life changing for everything. It's not like making a huge change in the world. It's just tiny little things that can help the planet in the same way as we, when we work in our own energy, when we do something for, uh, ourselves every day. So we do this also for the planet because the planet is us. So this doesn't mean that what we are doing right now is like a whole activation of the planet and we have to see results right away to stop conflicts or whatever. It's not that we are not we are not trying to do that. We are just trying to bring to bring awareness to the energetical work that the planet needs. Um, in the same way as we sometimes need a time for ourselves, a time for a reset. And maybe it's just a tiny moment of breathing. Well, we are doing the same for the planet, okay? It's kind of that. What I wanted to, to do now is, uh, after all this explanation, is to for all of us to take that moment, these five minutes of breathing, of meditation, of alignment to acknowledge these five places that are being activated and to support the person, the people that are in those places delivering these seeds. And the intention that we have to send to this network, to them, is basically to support for the greatest good of the awareness of this planet. Mm -hmm. So that's why we are sowing these seeds in the planet. If you are ready, I invite you to sit in a comfortable position. Search for the best position or the most comfortable position that you need in this moment. So the first thing that we will do to enter this is no need to close your eyes, just observing your body. Start to stretch, to move your joints. to massage, to touch, to caress the body. Searching for the right position. Taking deep breaths. And I start softly to close my eyes.
I concentrate just in my own breathings. If I feel that I have to release something before relaxing, I breathe deep through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Very deep, very hard. I repeat that every time that I need it. And once I feel that I have released what I needed, I just breathe through the nose, inhale and exhale through the nose. I become aware of my breathings and I recognize that I am just a tiny fractal of this world, that the movement of my body is like the movement of the earth. I can slowly start to move my spine in circles moving from one side to the other, in front, backwards, one side to the other side, in circles, recognizing that I am a fractal of Earth, and my movement is the movement of the planet. I become aware that I am not just a human living on the surface of the world. I am the planet itself. I am a cell in this body. In the same way I can relate one of my cells living in my own blood, in my, in my organs, in my muscles. I am myself a cell in the organ, in the blood, in the muscles of this planet. I take a deep breath and become aware of this reality. Become aware that every cell in my body is connected by an electrical network that helps me to feel, to sense through the fifth, the fifth senses, everything that happens to me. All the cells in my body communicate between each other through this net. Some of these cells vibrate low and negative. Some others vibrate high and positive. But this is what allows the movement of the light within me, of this electricity to communicate. This is how the cells of my body inform to each other at the same time that they take form. I recognize this inner war network that is strong and connects every aspect of my being. I take a deep breath. So now become aware that you are a cell as I am. And I communicate with other cells through electrical pulses. Those electrical pulses are called by humans as emotions and feelings. And we connect with 
all the others through channels in positive and negative. Sometimes we need positive energy, sometimes we need negative energy. We can understand the balance of this being through solstice. So we can understand the same process today in the solstice, today in the Northern Hemisphere. The summer begins, which means expansion and positive. And in the same moment, in the Southern Hemisphere, winter begins. A time of negative and contraction. This is all part of the balance. I take a deep breath. Acknowledging this, we set the intention today to find the logic the harmony and the axis between this negative and this positive. We can only become channels of energy if we find the right balance between these two aspects, negative and positive, between this polarity. And from this acknowledgement, this awareness of the axis, we can send this intention to the five notes that are being sown today. I take a deep breath and I send the intention of finding the axis in Lapland. I take a deep breath. And I send from my heart the intention of finding the axis in Samoa. I take a deep breath and I send from my heart the intention to find the axis in Uyuni. I take a deep breath. And I send the intention from my heart to find the axis in Hokkaido. I take a deep breath and from my heart and send the intention to find the axis in Kashmir. With my hands from my heart, I send this intention to the heart of those who have delivered, are delivering or will deliver the crystals in the notes. By sending this intention, I create an electrical pulse between the cells through emotion to link the nodes and create the net. And when I feel myself projected in the world, I start to bring my hands to my heart. As I do so, I recognize that all this world outside, it's also within. I am the earth. I am the axis of the world. And I find the coherence between what I 
think, what I feel, and what I do. And that is how, through coherence, in the center, I find my voice saying, I am. And I repeat all the time that I need this mantra of the I am to the entire electrical and magnetical networks of this world. Yo soy, I am, yo soy. I am, yo soy, I am, yo soy, I am, yo soy, I am, I am. Until my voice becomes just breathing. I recognize that in this way, I am connected to the everything. In this way, I become aware that in each one of my consciousness, in each one of my realities, here and now, a cycle ends and a new one begins. Happy solstice. Thank you for helping us sewing a new network in this world. So thank you all for being there. And we meet again in our next meeting for the Equinox. Have a good day.